The change has been dramatic, especially in the last four or five years, and it's interesting. It's all been foreign capital, largely from China, a little bit from India as well, and things like that. Whereas historically, everything that you see built has been locals doing it. That's totally changed in the last four years. I'm a huge fan of Los Angeles, you know that, but I must tell you very honestly, I'm disappointed in our architecture. If you look at the skyline, you mentioned San Francisco, for example. San Francisco, the city, mandates that you must do, you must do something interesting with your building. No more regular rectangles. That just doesn't work. They won't approve your project if you do that. Here, we just do regular, everyday, blasé, unfortunately, buildings. And when you look at the skyline, although it's a large and successful skyline, architecturally, I, very honestly, compared to cities like Seattle, like San Francisco, we are trailing very badly. And that's very unfortunate because we've got an opportunity to really make a difference and we're not. at LAX, there's $8 billion of new construction going on between the, the rental car facility and the monorail and things like that. But there's one other key thing that leads me to be very optimistic about the future. For the first time in a hundred years, they are tying LAX in to mass transit. So that instead of somebody having to take a taxi or Uber down there, you can now, or you will be soon, able to just get on mass transit and go to anywhere else in the city. And I think the lack of that has really been holding us back for many decades. So this is good news. LAX is one of the really, or, or the future of LAX, is one of the really good points uh, of this city. For the first 25 years of my career in the hospitality business, all we focused on were high-end, four-star luxury hotels. My partners and I uh, built the Lowe's Hotel at the beach here in Santa Monica, a four-star hotel. But to be honest with you, the real money in our business, and again, I discovered this very late, better late than never, but I discovered it late. When you build select service and limited service, that's where the real profitability of the industry is. And as a result, if you look at the last 10 years, probably 95% of the new hotels that have been built across the United States are limited service and select service. And again, being honest, I discovered that too late. We're into it now. I wish I had discovered this 15 years ago. But that's where the real profitability and future of the industry is. Oh, I think this is fantastic. It gives everybody a chance to really network together and it's not like it's all developers. It's developers and architects and brokers and, and contractors and things like that. It's a great opportunity for everybody to get together and just talk. And not just people from LA, even though this conference is LA based, it's people from all over the country and even the world. It, it's, it's fun to meet people and I enjoy that very much.